hi my name's Kim and I'm going to show you in this video how to make these really cute stockings with the lovely oversized bow. So starting with the main strip of fabric this measures 56 centimeters by 31 centimeters. I will leave all the measurements in the description below as well. I have two strips of the same main fabric and these measure 56 centimeters by 4 centimeters. We have a contrasting red strip of fabric which is the same as what the bow is going to be made of and this is also measuring 56 by 4 centimeters and a piece in the lining color for 56 sorry by 4 centimeters. So what we're going to do with these strips is sew them to the top of the main strip of fabric. So we will sew the plain lining strip first, then a strip of the main fabric, a strip of the red bow fabric, and then one more strip of the main fabric. So we'll take that first piece and go right sides together to the main bit of fabric and we're going to sew that together. So I'm using a 6mm seam allowance throughout this whole project. So do the same with our second strip. Sewing right sides together to the green strip. And then we'll take the next strip right sides together and continue. So all sewn together it should look like this. So what I'm going to do is press these seams flat and then we can carry on. And this is what it's going to look like once it's pressed. So it's nice and flat, all my seams are pressed down, doesn't really matter which way you want to do them. So now what I'm going to do is take my stocking template and we're going to cut two mirror images from this shape. So you want to have it lined up so the pattern is at the very top and if you can see there the toe is at the very edge and then we'll cut mirror images like so. If you want to see how I did draw this template, you can draw it yourself from scratch. Um, I'll leave a link to my website below where I show you the instructions of how to make your own stocking. It's dead simple, it's just a rectangle on an A3 piece of paper and then you kind of curve off to the side to draw your stocking shape. Right, so we're gonna cut two mirror image pieces from this pattern. So these are my two mirror image of the outer pieces of fabric and then what we're going to do for the lining is using the same templates we're going to cut two lining pieces but we're going to add four centimeters to the top of our fabric. So I've got my lining fabric folded in half and I've just drawn four centimeters up and across and then down and I can cut out that shape to make the lining. And you can see here now that the lining is slightly longer than the outer piece of fabric. Next we're going to put wadding on the back of the outer pieces of fabric. I'm going to be using Bosal In-R Foam Stabiliser for this, this is single sided fusible foam. And once that's ironed on the back we can start drawing our quilting lines. I'm going to be doing diagonal lines going up the stocking and then in the opposite direction as well to make diamond shapes. I'm going to do my quilting lines two inches apart. To draw the lines I'm using a heat erasable fabric pen so once I've finished quilting I can put a hot iron on top of this and the lines will disappear. So I'll draw the lines on the other stocking in the same way and if I line these two up together I can get the same markings, there's a little tip for you. Now those lines are all drawn, I'm going to top stitch over each line. 
and you could use a contrasting thread if you'd like the lines to stand out. I'm going to use a thread that matches the background colour so it'll be a bit more subtle. And as I said before, I can use a hot iron now to erase those lines. So because we have wadding on the back of the outer pieces and the lining is actually slightly longer than the outer pieces, we're going to need to add some wadding to the top of the lining. So you'll need a small strip of wadding that's about 2.5cm deep by the width of the stocking. So placing the strip of wadding under the top of the lining of the stocking and we'll adhere it to there. And we will repeat with the second lining piece. Just making sure we do it the mirrored way. Lining on top of the piece of wadding and iron. To make the hanging loop you'll need a strip of fabric that measures 10cm by 24cm. And we'll fold the strip of fabric in half, just like we're making bias binding basically. So with wrong sides together we will press, open out and then fold the long edges in to meet that crease in the middle. And then we'll press that. And then we'll fold that in half again and press. So then with your sewing machine you're going to edge stitch across the long sides, so there and there. Now you want to take the back outer piece and we'll fold this loop in half and we're going to sew it to the top of this side of the stocking. So place it on the top facing inwards, about there so you've got your seam allowance and then your loop and we're just going to stitch that in place. Like so. Next you want to take the matching lining piece to the outer piece, which will be that one. So with the right sides together, we're going to sew just along the top of the stocking just across here. like so. Do the same with the other piece. We can trim down this bulk afterwards. So we'll go right sides together and sew. Now we can trim back this seam slightly so we can reduce the bulk. So we want to cut quite close to the stitch. I think when I write the instructions for this I will change this up slightly so keep an eye out for that if you want to have a look. And now we can sew these two pieces right sides together. So place the lining on top of the lining and the outer on top of the outer with right sides together. And we just want to make sure that the two lining seams both meet at the right point. And we'll make sure those two seams are flat together and clip in place.
And you can just put a couple more clips in around the whole stocking to keep it all in place too. Now when we sew these right sides together, we're going to leave a gap for turning. So the gap will be in the lining, just to off to one side, just before you hit the heel. So you'll leave a gap about here of 10 centimetres. Once that's sewn you can put a few little snips just in this curve of the outer and the lining and that will make it a little bit easier to turn out. Now you can turn the stocking right side out. And now we can sew the turning hole closed. So what I like to do is just give that hole a little tug on the sides and that naturally curves in the fabric and then we can just stitch that in place and close the hole. Like so. And now we can push the lining inside the outer piece. So because the lining is longer than the outer piece, we will have an overturn once the lining is tucked in. And once you're happy with the way it looks, we can top stitch along the top of the stocking. Well, I've just made the bow and finished the project and it wasn't even recording. So let me show you what I actually did this time. So to make the bow on the front, we have a piece of fabric that measures 19 by 18 centimetres and I folded it in half lengthways with the right sides together. And then you want to sew around the three sides of the shape and then just snip away the corners ever so slightly. When you're sewing around the sides, leave a little turning gap of about four centimetres just in the base here so we can turn it the right side out. So let's turn that out. We'll actually use a corner turner for this just to make sure they're nice and sharp. better and then you can hand sew that opening closed and give that a press so apologies I've already done this so I'll just show you what I did so I've got a piece of fabric that measures 40 centimeters by 20 centimeters I have folded it in half lengthways again and I've snipped off these corners at a diagonal so once they've been snipped off, just like with the other piece, you'll sew around all three sides, leaving a turning gap in the bottom. So let's turn this out. And again we can hand sew this opening closed and give this a press. And finally I've cut a length of fabric that's 11 centimetres by 12 centimetres. I've sewn the two long sides together, right sides together to make a tube. And then we're going to turn this tube right side out. and press 
with the seam down the back like so. So the seam goes straight down the back centre. So to construct our bow we're going to take that first piece and the tails with the diagonals going down like this and we'll just place them centrally together and then we'll take our smaller piece and this is going to wrap around the middle of the two. So we're going to scrunch up the center of the tails, scrunch up the center of the top, like so. Sorry, my hand's in the way there. And then we'll take this smaller piece and wrap that around the middle of the two to keep in place. And once you're happy with how the bow looks, we can readjust it again later but then what you need to do is hand sew the back of that in place so once that's sewn up you can just go back in and readjust the bows and the ties until you're happy with the shape i think on its own this bow would make a really nice christmas tree decoration if you just had a little hanging loop in the back i think that would be adorable i might make up a few more to do that so yeah once you're happy with your bow we can then go and attach it to the top of the stocking. So this red strip here kind of mimics the bow tying around the stocking. So you take your big bow and hand sew it on top of the red, just off to one side. You could also glue the bow in place if you wish. And that's the stocking finished. A really cute little stocking with an oversized bow. ready to hang up and fill with presents for Christmas Day.